Okay, what's up guys? Today I'm doing a different kind of video here. And uh, I'll just review my little squat session there. And I want to explain what I'm doing a little bit. So here I'm warming up. And um, just one plate, six reps. And the reason why I want to show you this video is because I'm training my legs more like when I was training them when I was 20 year old. So I do like a lot of challenge sets. So that leg day is actually just a squat day was an extra day because I get a real leg workout and then during the during later during the week I, I do a second leg workout. So now I got two plates on the bar there. And uh, so the goal of the challenge sets is that I will get to a heavy weight and I will get I will try to get a lot of reps with, with it, like a, like arm wraps, which is just failure I guess. So here I do another six reps with two plates. So I was warming up in my head all the way up to four plates. And uh, I was like, okay, I'm gonna do as much reps as I can with four plates and see what happens. Now I got 275. I do small increments, jump, small jump increments at first to uh, make sure I'm warmed up when I get to four plates. And uh, there was a fan there, it was kind of annoying, it was like kind of cold because of that. I kind of switched it around after that. I pointed another direction. I, I like to sweat when I work out. I feel like more, I feel like it's more safe, safe and you're more warmed up. So 275, uh, oh, one, two. You see I'm using the low bar squat now with the wider grip. And if you notice on the bar where I'm gonna rack, uh, I put clips first, and then I put the plates, and then I put the clips again. I don't know if you see it there. It's like it's not all the way to the end of the bar there. I do that so I can put my ends outside of the of the um, the hooks on the squat racks. That way I can do a low bar and I'm flexible enough, and I can throw the hips back. My squats have been a lot better since I do that. Very comfortable now. So three plates, remove the shoes to get more of a ground feeling. And I think it's good to squat barefoot because you can you can spread your toes more. I think you have more stability. It feels better for some reason. So one, two, three. Squats are pretty good there. I was like, okay. But I didn't feel like, they still felt heavy. It doesn't look heavy, but it felt heavy. So I was like, okay, well, I think I'll just go to four plates now. Yeah, this is the Iron Bow Strength Knee Wraps, the belt, I'm showing what I'm using there. And Jujima Fu's, uh, ah! Sweating salt and barefoot. Yeah, so now I'm uh, wrapping the knees. I use the knee wraps mostly on the, the big challenge sets. To, uh, it just helps a little bit at the bottom like I don't know how much it really does help it just I feel more safe maybe it's also a mental thing but I do I do like having that it's like a little like sick, like tightness secure like safe feeling and then the belt and uh, all the way leading up to four plates I always every like day when I do those workouts I'm always a little bit scared and uh, I think it's part of, the, of it. If you're if you're not scared before doing legs, you're not doing legs hard enough. So smelling the salt there. I think the bottle's getting old because I was taking lots of whiffs. There you go. Low bar, wide. See the clips there, the blue clip on the right. I put that first. And uh, whoop, then I sense a swish in there. Then I go. Okay. Then I get my rhythm. I lost count there, but I, I know how much I did. And uh, I was still pretty good there. And then I think there it started really burning in my ass. Like I could feel, really feel like my butt muscle was working really hard. High rep stuff with heavy weight on legs and even deadlifts, you will feel your glutes. And I want to build my glutes as, part, as one of my body parts for next year. And that's, that was getting hard right there. But once you get into the groove, you just keep going like on squats and like when you do legs it's it's like you, you always have more in the tank than you think 
always. It's it's a it's a mind game, and I had probably like two three more in there, but I stopped because I was like my ass was burning so much, and I wanted just you know to be safe. I was so exhausted after that, and now. <laughs> so I did 21 reps with the four plates, and uh, it was pretty hard. After that, I was exhausted. But now, what I do with uh, when I do legs, I always finish my workout with two plates on the bar, as much as possible. So I do 10, then I took I take a rest, two a couple breaths, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, I guess 10 now. Take a, take a couple breaths, and then I go again. So last time I did legs, I only, before that, I only did 20 reps. I was so tired, so that's why I, today, the, yesterday I went to do squats so I could actually beat my number. I did 37 last time, but today, because I only did squats, I didn't do all kinds of crazy shit, I had more in the tank. So I, I should have went up to uh, 50 reps. And I think things like that, High reps with like moderate to heavy weight on squats and uh, hard exercises for legs. This is what's going to build my legs. Because when I was 20 year old, that's what I did. And I look at pictures, even in 2012, when I went to Nationals, I think my legs were bigger than when they were on stage at the Toronto Pro Show. Yes, I was way more shredded. See there, I'm really struggling there. Doesn't show, but it was hard. Kind of want to use the, the, the balance of the momentum there. So 50, yeah, that was exhausting. So th that was it for uh, the two challenge sets of those squats there. And uh, each time you, you do legs, I would really suggest that you don't try to do like five to six reps. For me, it doesn't make any sense. I would have to use so much weight for me to reach failure at six reps. It's not good for the joints and stuff. And you get a way better pump and it's way harder to do like, I was way more exhausted after the two plates for 50 reps than the four plates for 21 reps. Even though they were kind of like equally hard, but the two plates is really like just all mind and cardio. So if you have a strong mind, you can push yourself really, really far. If And if the cardio backs you up, it's gonna be way easier. So for example, how I would go into a leg workout you know i because i i was doing john meadows program but i felt like uh for me i wasn't because if i guess if john would be there beside me he would really push me to like you know have, we'd have great workouts but his programs for legs they're hard but i don't feel like for me i need to do like crazier stuff a little bit like challenge sets like that and um how I would go into it, I would do the hamstrings first. I do high intensity kind of thing, warm up until like I do one or two crazy failure sets with like partials and iso hold, like John Meadows does. And uh, I would do that two for two ha hamstring exercises, two leg curls. Then I'm gonna go to go maybe do leg extension to warm up with some tension, iso tensions. Then I'm gonna either do a power squat, high squat, a leg press. And I would do like three of those exercises, like like three or crazy exercises. And I would usually end with squats with two plates for as much reps as I can. And uh, for example, in a power squat, it's like, um, you know what a power squat is, right? Uh, I would warm up, I would do reps of six, eight, not failure, just like feeder sets. They, you can call that feeder, feeder sets to prepare for the big set. And then I would have like nine plates aside and I would try to get 30 reps. That's an example. Because if you're somewhat advanced in your training and your legs are already strong, you can do heavy weight for high reps. And I think that's what's going to make the difference in having like big legs to freaky legs. Because next time I, I step on stage, I want my legs to be freaky. Not just big, I want them to be freaky big with crazy conditioning. And I think training like that is gonna do the job and make and make me reach my goal. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, subscribe to the channel, and I hope you like this little, new type of uh, little video there where I explain some stuff over the training footage. 
I will do more of it. Comment below, let me know if you like it. Thanks for watching.